Hi there, I'm Dawn Reese, your Hollywood Entertainment Reporter, right here in Orlando, Florida at The Lure. We're here for Toys for Tots, and we're really excited because Kevin Keane, my dear, dear friend, over, uh, I don't know, 30 years, and uh, thank you for doing camera right now. In the meantime, we're helping the Toys for Tots with a brand new event. I'm here with an amazing man. You are? Thank you. My name's Rick Navarro. Ricky is a great name. That's one of my son's names. Great name. Great mom. I love it. <laughs> You are here supporting the Toys for Tots, but you know, your story is amazing. What are you doing these days? You're over at... I teach at Full Sail University. I do, um, I'm course director for music production and arrangement, so I deal with students and I teach them how to actually play instruments and sing, because a lot of people can actually sing, they just don't know it. Right. And, um, and I coach them into it and I entice them with certain little, little enticements that they like to hear, you know. Like maybe I'll give you an A if you sing, you know, and they'll try it, and they do get it, you know. And then all of a sudden, by the end of the month they spend with me, they're singing boastfully. They stand a certain way, they hold the microphone a certain way, and you know, it's it's very satisfying to see somebody that didn't know they had the gift actually come out with it. I have many kids. What ages do you start at? Not me myself. I mean, you know, in the world of talent. <laughs> you know, actually, I've taught from the successfully at seven years old I've had a um, there was one student of mine in New Smyrna Beach who the parents just couldn't really communicate properly and when they met me and we got behind the piano he actually opened up and he was able to speak properly you know, and, and and he had the gift and he was able to learn songs he did stuff that he always heard his parents play like Sweet Child of Mine and stuff like that and it was very natural for him um, and I'm teaching two students now the one just turned eight and his sister uh, is ten and they're fantastic they all play they both play different instruments and they switch around so one will play drums while the other one's playing guitar um, they both sing um, they both play guitar piano and drums and when I found that gift in them, I made sure to nurture it and make sure to get them to realize that that is a gift that they should they should go forward with. You know, um, how do they audition for you? What do they need to do if they want to be in your next set of classes? Well, I, I take a listen to, to anybody and everybody, and you know, right away I'll be able to see if something that is really something they want to do or something they're they've been told they should do or it's an expectation from somebody else but when a student asked me to teach him um, Jimi Hendrix and all of a sudden he's seven years old going ba -na -na -na, because he really wants to do it compared to somebody who's like yeah my parents want me to sing my parents want me to there's a difference and I want to find I like finding the the raw natural talent we have them and developing them we have them on the be discovered cruise that i have in clearwater in my show so you'll be hearing don reese show sent me another thing is you have an amazing past you have been on tour with almost every celebrity uh major artist tell us about that and who well, i was fortunate enough to actually play bass for a lot of acts that uh played around um i met a gentleman named pat travers and through him i got to play with a whole bunch of other artists that i actually grew up listening to they were my heroes and I'm going to their house afterwards freaking out on the phone saying I can't believe I'm at blah blah blah's house and you know and then I find out about their music abilities and everything and and that that's why it's so important to study the music all thank you because it one thing is to have the gift and get away with just enough but my goal was to be the best to be the best at all times with everything I do and then I picked up the bass and I said, you know what, I'm going to sit in my corner and not do anything but be the best at this. And uh, when I got an audition to one of the biggest gigs that I got, it was because I turned around facing the wall saying, nobody speak to me for a week. I'm going to learn this. I come out of there and I got the gig right away. You know, and that's just, you have to be devoted. You have to really want it and you'll get it. Things aren't just going to come to you and knock on your door. And if you're not ready, you're going to miss out. So luck is actually opportunity meaning preparedness. You better be prepared when opportunity knocks, and then you're going to get your job.
Awesome. Can I ask you, how did you get the auditions to get with these major um, artists around the world? It was a word of mouth. They said he's really good. Or how did that happen? It's it's basically all word of mouth. The more you spend time meeting people, you know, you go outside, you meet people, um, and realize that at all times somebody could be looking at you. So realize how important it is to behave a certain way, to be a certain way, to not um, not be abrasive, and then also everybody can judge you just by something they're seeing. So just try to be as as good as you can inside and out, knowing that. You're not just a little speck in the world. People are around you, and you have to make an impact. Right. Now, do you have a Facebook, a Twitter, anything we can follow you around on? <laughs> Actually, I personally do not. He doesn't? No. I, I am too busy to look at Facebook, but my band has Beatlish. So on uh, Facebook, if you go to Beatlish Band in Facebook, you can check out the band and what we're doing. Awesome. Very cool. Any advice you want to talk to new talent about being an artist? One last word. Any word of wisdom advice? Take your time. Take your time. And take your time learning this stuff. It's very important. Awesome. All right. Thank you. And we're going to be right back. Somebody trying to get in there. We do. We have, and, and who are you? I'm Joseph Martins. Hey, Joseph, how are you? And what are you holding up? Uh, I'm holding up uh, this uh, fabulous house plant. Oh, this poster, yes. <laughs> Tell us about the poster, what you're doing. 10th annual John Lennon tribute. Should we just walk down the side? Uh, yeah, no, we're, we're here for lighting. He's really good. Is he? <laughs> so when is this event? It's uh, December 22nd. It's a, uh, what is today? I want to go. So it's only three days. Well, you should be there then. Sure. We're raising all the money for Steve Guerin, who's a local singer-songwriter, guitar hero. He was, uh, the, still is the lead singer-songwriter for Precious. Okay. And he's suffering from a kidney disease that I can't pronounce. <laughs> so we're here to support him. He, 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 so he needs a liver transplant. So we're raising the money. For that, I guess I could put that down. Well, if, and let me ask you, if they're watching this from around, because my Facebook's almost full of whatever my quota is, and plus I have a show, where could they send money to help out with um, helping the kidney foundation? Heartstringsmusic.org. One more time. Heartstringsmusic.org. And better yet, I mean, if you can be there, if you're in the phys you know physical proximity. This Sunday. You know, come out December 22nd to the veranda at Thornton Park. You can Google that name. You can Google the 10th annual John Lennon tribute and come out. It's a great time. We've got 25 bands. Uh, Beatleish will be there. I want to bring my reporters. Yes. He's an amazing artist himself. Well, we need to talk. We're going to come right back. We're going to save that footage and then we're going to get some new one with you as well. And I want to thank you so much. Really, a lot. Thank you. Bye bye. Right We're coming back to interview. <laughs> right there. Forget about Ever this. again. Oh, <laughs> we'll be right back. I'm going to interview this gentleman in a second. Bye bye. <laughs> okay, let's try it. Hopefully, to God, it works.